Hi guys, welcome back to Everland TV and it's your favorite TV host or should I say your favorite girl Ola Duni of the view and thank you so much for your views on our last video thank you for the likes thank you for the share we were just seeing ourselves everywhere on everybody's status like it was amazing and before you go don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit your notification bell so today as usual i have a very interesting in true gain something very nice for you guys so there is this topic I saw online there is this talk that was just going on and I decided to share with everybody so let me read the stuff to you all my husband has two cars I go to work every day on public transport I pleaded with him to give me one of his cars even if it is the smaller one but he refused he refused okay I explained to him the stress I was going through from jumping from one bus to another, but he still refused. He did not agree. I continued going to work on public transport. As God may have it, I got promoted in my workplace and was gifted a car. See how this girl is working. She was gifted a car. My car is fine now and more expensive than my husband's two car put together. Now, my husband wants me to give him my car and told me to choose one from his old cars. I don't want to give him my own car. To me, he's just being selfish. Of course he's selfish, but there has not been peace at home because of this. What do you think this woman should do? Okay, this um, question was aired on radio, and this woman is asking what should she do? What should she do? He had two cars, he did not give you one. Now God has blessed you. He now wants to collect your own wealth? In my own opinion, no. Give car, give anything. I ain't not give him any car. I won't give him anything. He should carry his two cars and be good. But then we sought opinions from other people, and <laughs> guys, this question is crazy because people had different reactions to it. So, this is one reply I got. A rubbish one here, like literally, what kind of rubbish is that? Like, this person is angry. When he had to, he wasn't willing to sacrifice any for her. Now God don't overshine the wife. He's now doing no jukokoro. <laughs> she should not give him more. Which kind of your husband is that? Who is meant to be trekking inside sunset then just for the wife to use her? Don't give him any car. Like, like you're even supposed to give your wife the car to, when you are two. You're supposed to give her one. Because who else should be trekking if not you, please? So, if people see you trekking now and you tell them, oh, my wife has carried the car to work oh, because I don't want her to trek, and your wife trekking and saying, my husband carried the car to work, like, which one is wrong? It makes sense. Give any cheap. Not give him anything. So, this is from Dr. Leke. He said, wow, this is a really terrible husband. <laughs> Something as little as car is just the least of what he is capable of. He would eventually get intimidated by her job, which is very, very true. He would get intimidated by her job itself and in fact her entire existence. Best thing is not to accept such from him now before it escalates and that is just the best. If she accepts to give him a car now, very soon they will give her a house, he will collect it. Then it will be other things and other things and it will escalate and he's just a selfish person. So don't accept if you want to accept, accept rather. Your car is your car exactly, so period. Okay, you earned it and no stupid person. <laughs> okay, this is so mean. You earned it and no stupid person who refused to give or borrow you his own should have access whatsoever to it, except the circumstances were right, in which, in this case, it isn't. If something as little as this car might be the end of the marriage, I see no future otherwise. It's totally the selfish man's fault. And I actually see reasons with Dr. Leke because, and this is a guy talking, to be realistic, it's stupid now, you have two cars, you can't give your wife one. Now God has provided for your wife and because it's finer than your own, you want her to give you like, for why now? Like, why are men like that sometimes? Like, you are cow, you do not give this woman. Now I got a voice note from Tega and she was like, first thing is, she would say, don't give him. Because in the real sense, why am I giving him my car? But let's look at it. This is one of the many things women have to go through in marriage and keep quiet about. And the society will tell us, especially the Yoruba society, we find ourselves in. Suru laughing shoko, laughing she, ya walk, Suru laughing belly, please. 
If you want to live in Ileoko with patience, it doesn't mean you should be stupid. Okay, fine, I understand that he is your husband, but really, do I have to give him my car? Hmm? Do I have to give him my car? Let's be realistic. This is one of the many things women go through in marriage. Eventually, she will have to give him that car because if she really wants her marriage to have peace, if she wants her home to have peace, she should just let him be. He's a baby. He's obviously a baby. And even I'm even thinking, he doesn't have parents. So his mother and his father saw that he had been trekking and they still allowed him to carry his two cars. You see, a wicked man from a wicked family. Sorry. I'm taking it personal, but really, really, he doesn't have parents. I think you should tell his parents about this, or your parents, or somebody he respects. That's why they say marry somebody that respects other people. Probably your pastor, your imam, or something. I don't see why he should want your car. Well, Tega advised that you can cook up a letter or something and say, ah, our company said that nobody else must drive the car, or that if anybody drives the car, that they will seize the car, or it has to be me. But for somebody like me, mm, I want peace in my marriage, so I'll just tell him that. In fact, I'll never tell him about the car. If I know that my husband is thinking, I will be parking the car two streets before our house, so I will not use bike and come home. When I'm going to work, I use bike and go and carry my car again because nobody say mumu in this place. But really, that is very selfish of the man. Like, how, how, how? That is, if he has more than that, he will not give this woman. Your wife is jumping balls. And then you, you have two cars, you cannot give her. She begged you to borrow her. She never said that show. Borrow her, you cannot give her. Come on now, guys. Guys, let's let, let's reason this. Because because this is just a, a, a simple case of stinginess. Akagum. You are just stingy. So guys, I'd like to know your own view. I've said my view, I've said other people's view. I'd like to know your view on this topic. Should she give him the car? Or should she lie? What she should what? What should she do to save her marriage? Because her marriage is actually on the line. Please do feel free to drop your thoughts, your view in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like, turn on the notification bell, and follow us on all our social media handles, Everland TV on Twitter, Everland TV on Facebook, and Everland TV on Instagram. If your favorite girl allowed me, and I'll see you on the next one.